All right, good, good morning guys. Welcome back to my channel, Mermaid Nina here. I am on location at Epcot, Woohoo! So mother and I, we have a goal. The goal is International Festival of the Arts. We are gonna check out chalk drawings and Disney artists and hopefully we're gonna help paint a mural and I have something special planned for the evening. My mother has no clue. But let's go ahead and check out Epcot's International Festival of the Arts. Plus, mom wants to ride Remy. She never has. So let's see if we can get that done for her. But let's go check out Epcot today for the International Festival of the Arts. Let's go. Woo thank you. All right, look at this. We got the International Festival of the Arts right here, the little display right in front of the big golf ball. My mother's excited. Everyone's been wishing her happy birthday. She keeps talking about it. She's like, how many people are gonna wish me happy birthday? Well, she's wearing the happy birthday button I gave her. She's pretty excited. It's like a five-year-old over here. I'm not taking my mom to Disney. I'm taking a five-year-old to Disney. She wants everyone wishing her happy birthday. It's hilarious. Anyway, we're gonna to try to do a Spaceship Earth and work our way back to the World Showcase where we are gonna explore all the arts. All right, guys, we're gonna do it. Spaceship Earth, wait was only 10 minutes. When you see that, just hop on in. So yep, going on Spaceship Earth. My mother's gonna see if she's been on it before. She cannot remember, so we'll see if her memory comes back when we're on this ride. I'm pretty sure we've done it you know, when I was a kid and whatnot, but we'll see if she remembers. Is this the International Festival of the Arts? I'm seeing arts. My mom says yes, yes it is. She knows everything, guys. She's the Disney World expert now. Guys, for those of you who want to know the verdict, my mother says she does not remember that ride. So we're trying to figure out how, because I've been on it <laughs> when I was a kid. So we're thinking she probably was doing mom things and taking care of my younger siblings, and I probably got to ride it with maybe my older siblings, and that's how mom has never ridden it, but I had. So anyway, we're gonna keep going, but I thought that was pretty funny. So we're gonna go check out the creation shop and get the figment map. And I got to get my Dumbo magnet, guys, because I'm an AP, so let's go. All right, guys, here we go. Here is the Festival of the Arts map. It's a scavenger hunt. I talk about these all the time. So we're going to find the figment picture frames in the corresponding areas and then find uh, which famous artist artwork corresponds for those countries. So these are stickers. We're going to peel off the sticker put it on the proper spot, and then we have a completed map. So it's a fun little scavenger hunt for all ages. And of course it's $10, you have to pay for it, but you get a prize at the end. And here's the prize. They just went ahead and gave it to me early so I don't have to come back. But it says Festival of the Arts and a Mickey Mouse. They can get Mickey, Minnie, or Goofy. And it looks like I get to paint him, so that's pretty cool. Mom should like that. Those are the, oh, they used to have a figment. How cute, that's what I would have picked. Love that. And then for those curious, here is my new AP magnet Dumbo that I picked up in the same store. So yeah, let's keep going. All right guys, the seas with Nemo and friends. It wasn't on our list, but you know what? It's five minutes long, or it's a five minute wait, so we're just gonna do it. Morning. Good morning. My mom kinda sorta remembers this, so let's see. Oh no, she's telling me very clearly, she remembers it. So yeah, we're gonna bring back memories and go on Nemo. All right guys, we're just entering the land pavilion right now so I can uh, do Soren with my mother. She's trying to bring back her memory if she's been in here, but I keep teasing her. She can't remember if she's been here or not. All right, here we go, Soren. We do have a pass for it, but let's see how long it is right now. Um, and FYI, my mother totally remembers being here now. Uh, 25 minutes for Soren. Not bad, guys. Not bad. 
colors looks like we're number one and number five one more looks more like a lighter purple and one might be more of a periwinkle so you're gonna get a little bookmark that shows what it looks like at the end all right i got number five so i'm doing the periwinkle light color and there's my paintbrush hi friends how many party two all right, I'm following my mom. She's excited. All right, mom. You see a number one? You're number one. Perfect. So she's going to open up her paint. It's like a little preschool project. <laughs> I never went to preschool. Oh, no, she never went to preschool. Just kindergarten. My goodness. There we go. Let's see how good she is. Let's not make her nervous. I do get my art talent from my mother. Look at that, it's practically perfect. Oh my gosh, she's like Mary Poppins. She's practically perfect in every way, my word. Look at that, little Miss Precise. But yeah, look at all these different colors that people have done. How fun is this? We're gonna be part of a larger mural. All right, guys, there I am. That's my periwinkle right there. I did all the fives that were connected in this one little spot. And then my mom is over here with her little lavenders. She found a bunch of little single spots. So yeah, we're gonna be part of a bigger picture here. See what I did there, bigger picture, yeah? All right, they have a bunch of these really awesome photo opportunities up here with like, you know, famous paintings and you can step inside and get your photo taken. Oh, my mom's finally realizing what she just did. <laughs> she already got her picture taken in here. So this is a Renoir. Very cool, you just step inside and you're part of the work of art. Yep, we got Van Gogh over here. So I'm gonna get in this one. All right, we got chalk, chalk art ahead. Let's see if we can find some. Oh, I see artists over there right now drawing. Let's go explore. How fun is this? Looks like they're using pastels. 
Very cool. They look like they're re redoing some famous artworks here. Hi. Hi. How are you? Good. How are you? I'm fine, thank you. Are those just uh, regular pastels? These are soft pastels. They're made specifically for the sidewalk. Really? Okay. Yeah. So they've got a little bit more wax content to hold to the ground better. Oh, nice. Good to know. Yes. Did you have any questions? Or did you go to art school? Um, I actually did, yes. Where'd you go? I, I was at Virginia Commonwealth for a while and then a lot of independent study. Okay. Yeah. All right. Here's some more works. Got some a lot of great information from that artist there. They get to pick out their own, you know, they get to pick out their own uh, thing that they want to do the chalk of. It just has to be a hundred year old uh, masterpiece. Um, they have about three hours to complete one image and they just keep going from image to image. Uh, just going, you know, all across the sidewalk here. This one's hard to see because of the uh, shadow here, but these are amazing. Beautiful. All right, here we go. We just entered the World Showcase area, so now we have to decide, are we gonna go left or are we gonna go right? We're on our way to America, so we may just take a boat. But we are super excited to be here today. It's not super duper crowded. It's a lovely day in the 70s. Wow, look at that. Giant paint tube. I could do so much art with that. <laughs> Since we need to get to America to do the animation uh, experience here, we're gonna go ahead and take a boat over to the World Showcase. And then we'll walk back doing all the different kiosks and artist stations. But yeah, we're gonna go ahead and take a boat. Oh, that's cool. All right, we made it to the American Pavilion here real quick. We're gonna do the Animation Academy. It looks like they have times uh, 12.30 and 1.30. It is currently a little after 12. Looks like they've already got people in there. So yeah, we're gonna do some art from a Disney artist. It's pretty exciting. For those of you who don't know, um, I am a trained artist. I do have a bachelor's in fine arts and a master's in fine arts. And uh, yeah, being a Disney animator was my dream. So uh, this is pretty exciting here. Let's hop to it, shall we? All right, so as you come in, they give you a clipboard and a piece of paper and a pencil. And I did ask, this is very similar to the experience over at Animal Kingdom. Um, the animation experience so we will be drawing um, Judy Hopps and uh, Nick Wilde so yeah pretty exciting welcome your sketch artist Luke Consolo Yay! Hello guys. welcome to Epcot's International Festival of the Arts are you guys excited about drawing a character today Woo! all right so um, today I think we should be excited about drawing Judy Hopps from Zootopia so let's go ahead and get started. Mm -hmm. <laughs> My mom doesn't know who Judy Hopps is. She's a bunny. A very cute bunny. And we like to also break down our characters into simple forms like geometries, like circles, squares, and triangles. In this case, we're going to start with um, some basic understanding of proportion here, because we're going to draw her face and her ears. This was what I was able to kind of like break, break down the forms and really figure out the lines and uh, I did a good job. <laughs> so, all right guys, thank you very much. Appreciate it. Yay. Thanks for being here at the pot and uh, stay warm. <laughs> all right guys, here's the finished product. This is mine, but remember I went to art school. This is what I learned to do for a living. And then this is my mother's. How cute. So much fun. I'm pressing it. There we go. <laughs> All right, we're over at the Regal Eagle. My mother wants a burger. So we're going to get her her burger and then I'm going to get uh, french fries because they're delicious here. So yeah, we're still in the American Pavilion. All right, because we eat dinner, a big dinner in a couple of hours, my mom didn't want anything huge, so she ordered off the kids' menu, which is 100% allowed. So she got a cheeseburger, no cheese, and then the side is coleslaw and watermelon, and I can't help myself, guys. Amazing french fries here. So yeah, we're just kind of eating light because we know we have a big dinner ahead. All right, new to Morocco, just came back, just past COVID here. Henna, 
What do you guys think? Should we get some henna done? I think so. Let's go. It's this way. You can look through for designs. Looks like the cheapest is starting at 25 and it goes all the way to like $55. My mom's flipping through right now to figure out what we're going to get. We decided we have matching tees and we have matching hoodies. We might as well get matching tattoos. Of course, if you guys want to know a secret, we actually have matching real tattoos, my mother and I. And that's really fancy one. Yeah, the dragon's really cool. My daughter would love that. We like to get hand bougie here at the hand bougie station. I was hoping they would have hand here. Yeah, we just started back in um, December. December 8th was our first day back. Go a little slower so you can get a bit of it. Don't remind me. I guess I'm kind of rational. Would you like your receipt? No, it's not. Here you go. I'm sorry. Here you go. No, I have not. Oh, yeah, we're both henna newbies. Oh my, how exciting! Yes. Oh, you picked a good place to get it. I've always wanted to do it, but I was always afraid I would get an allergic reaction. But we're just gonna go for it. Well, the black henna has like nuts in it, and that's what would get you an oh, allergic reaction. This one's just plant with essential oils, okay, and sugar. meeting guests. Look how pretty she looks. And that's over here on the way to Ratatouille. All right, right now standby is only 45 minutes, which is not bad. But we of course have the lightning lane. Yes, but what do you prepare? Huh? For the whole idea? Coconut? No. A simple omelet? Too simple. What? May we? That's it! work of art here if you look close I know it's through the glass but you can see figment here he's on the bridge with like water lilies just like Monet the reflections of imagination there's figment here in Paris all right you guys know I had to I got to get my mom on frozen she has 100% never done this ride we can confirm that uh, wait right now is 125 minutes so over two hours but I managed a lightning lane, so let's go.
is the rice cream. I do know what it was called in the Norwegian bakery. It's got some strawberries on top. Is it good, Mom? Yes. Yeah, Mom likes it. I got the, the vegan pretzel. It's sticking here. It might be fresh. It's covered in chocolate. Yum, yum. All right, Mexico time. We're going to go do the three cableros. And my mother loves the Coco movie, so she's looking for some merch. So let's go. Oh, my mom's just finding out that this is with the three caballeros. <laughs> what are their names? Three caballeros. Okay. It's Donald Duck, of course. Dan Chito and Jose. Awesome. I watched the Legend of the Three Caballeros show on Disney Plus. It's really good. That's how I am. All right, we got a plug for Disney Plus there from a little fan who knows all the names of the three Pablieros. <laughs> Guys, we're over here at Rose and Crown. We are seated outside, which is fabulous. We do have a gorgeous view of the lagoon and the harmonious barges, guys. Those are gorgeous. Um, no, thank goodness they go away in um, a month and a half, thank goodness. But yeah, we're over here eating on the patio again for my mother's birthday. Something to note, Rose and Crown is a restaurant I have been to bazillions of times. We love it here. Sadly, due to pantry supply and demand and all that crazy stuff, they had to reduce their menu. So make sure if you are a Rose and Crown fan and you come back, double check that menu because sadly it's been greatly reduced. Uh, Cast is asking that you go to guest services and kind of complain about that because they miss the menu items as well. But it doesn't matter because the chef came out, found ways to feed me per my allergies. So yeah, we're just waiting for food, enjoying the weather and watching some birdies out here. We got some ducks out here. So yeah, can't wait to show you guys what we eat. And then of course, the surprise that will come later because we did book a package with this dinner reservation. So let's keep going. All right, so in case I didn't say, with our package, we do get an appetizer, an entree, and a dessert, and a beverage. Um, so this is my vegan salad right here. Looks pretty good. My mother got uh, the same salad, actually. It naturally comes vegan, although hers looks different from mine. I'm not sure why. But yeah, we're gonna dig in. Our entrees are out. Now, sadly, they got rid of the vegan uh, bangers and mash. And also, sadly, of course, I found out when I got here that the vegan shepherd's pie is made with mushrooms and they can't edit it. And I'm allergic to mushrooms, so the chef got creative and got me vegan uh, mash here with asparagus and uh, purple cauliflower here. And then my mom got, uh, isn't this the fish and chips? Yeah, but it's baked. Um, but it's baked. She doesn't do so well with uh, fried food. So she got baked fish um, with peas and carrots and asparagus here. So yeah, we're gonna dig in. All right, dessert time. Dessert did come with our package. So my mother got the sticky toffee pudding, which is the regular dessert, you know, the non-vegan dessert there. It looks really good. Look at all that caramel. Zoom in action right there. I got uh, the allergen friendly or the vegan option here. This is a uh, vanilla gelato and it comes with mixed berries, but I can't have one of the berries, so mine is uh, just strawberries down here. So yeah, we're gonna dig in and then 
next up should be the big surprise. Stay tuned. All right, guys, food is over, and FYI, it was delicious. Chef totally rocked out all my crazy food allergies, and Mom and I both enjoyed our food, and I just surprised her, guys. We're gonna go see Disney on Broadway. Yeah, over here at the American Pavilion. We are super excited for that. So yeah, um, we're gonna go do that later on, so keep following along because that's gonna be fun, so. All right, I found another one. We're in America. There he is right there. But look at the best part. Look at the frame, how cute is that? All right, here's the entrance for the dinner package. And we actually have the 645 show going on right now. So we'll be in there pretty soon. Looks like they're finishing up. All right, so they let us in about a half an hour early. Again, this is in the American Pavilion here. And yes, this is the same stage that we uh, watched the animator teach us how to draw Judy Hopp. Same place.
right, guys, uh, that's it for us. It is the next morning for me. Mom and I kind of, you know, we kicked out Epcot. We closed it out, and by the time we got back, we were just tired. But we had a fabulous day over at Epcot doing International Festival of the Arts. And honestly, we did everything we set out to do. My mom really only cared about Remy. But on top of that, she got Frozen and Soren and Spaceship Earth, and we even squeezed in a Nemo. Uh, the goal was the International Festival of the Arts, which for my mother was just kind of walking around and looking at the art. But we were able to check out chalk drawings, and we painted part of a mural. We learned how to draw Judy Hopps and all those great things. We had dinner. We saw Disney on Broadway. It was an extremely successful day. The whole point was to show my mom another side of Epcot, something she really hasn't seen before and something she would enjoy. And I think we totally hit it out of the park. But let me know in the comments, would this have been a good day for you? We had a blast. But as always, guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. If you haven't already, please uh, subscribe to my channel. If the subscribe button is red, please click it gray, hit the bell icon for notifications, I like this video, and comment as always. And I wanna put a little note out there, several of you came and found me today and chatted with me and thanked me for all my videos. Uh, that just warms my heart. So thank you so much, guys, for reaching out. Again, if you guys see me at the theme parks, come over and say hi. I would love to meet you, and thank you for watching my uh, videos. But yeah, as always, guys, mahalo for watching. Nina, out. Bye, guys.